Hello there and welcome to this edition of the Daily 10, your source for entertaining news, celebrities and latest trends. I am your host PNK. Ricardo Momo, who is Diamond Platinum's blood brother, opened up and shared shocking information. According to Ricardo, both him and Diamond Platinum share the same father and is not Mzee Abdul, but it's a man identified as Salim Eid Nyange. Ricardo confirmed the secret was known to everyone in his family but chose to keep it off social media due to personal reasons. Mze Abdul Juma was also aware about his son's paternity but since Mama Dangote kept telling him that the boy was his, he played along and now Mze Abdul has asked the Dangote family not to use his name. Wilkins Fadili became the talk of town after conning a number of celebrities in 2019 and he is back proving that old habits die hard. Suzy Wokabi, the founder of Suzy Beauty, took to social media to caution the public against dealing with Wilkins because he would occasionally disappear with her footage and use her name to get clients claiming that the two of them were working together. She listed a number of local public figures who Wilkins missile to secure partnership with Suzy including Brida LW, Trio Mio, Abe Yasachi, Martin Mativo, Ian Tash and many more. Since the release of his song Nairobi, Soul Generations Ben Soul has been the talk of town for his lyrics and soulful vocals. The song features label mate and the storyteller, lyricist Major and Saudi Soul. The song tells the story of a dejected lover who's found out that the partner is a serial cheater. The singer shared a hilarious photoshop photos of the stars like Beyonce, Rihanna, Cardi B and Elsa Majimbo washing him. Former NTV News anchor Dibal Inea has landed a new job with Mediabank's own station K24 months after being shown the door at National Media Group. Dibal is set to be unveiled at K24 as the new punchline host taking over from Anki Guta who resigned in December 2020. Inea was among the top talents that were fired at National Media Group in a bid to remain afloat in the tough economic times brought by coronavirus. Most men turn 64 and they feel like life is about to reach a screening halt but tycoon and media mogul Steve Harvey feels alive and lucky. On Sunday 17 January, the wealthy TV show host turned a year older and his wife Marjorie Harvey was by his side. The 56 year old celebrated her hubby in the warmest, kindest and loveliest way. She planted a deep kiss on her better half as they stood on a balcony that overlooked a heavenly view and asked her fans to help her wish the love of her life a very happy birthday. Birthdays are not just birthdays in Obama residence, especially when it comes to Barack and his wife Michelle. As Michelle turned 57, her hubby celebrated her in an Instagram post that was welcomed by millions across the world. The former US leader shared a never seen before photo of his better half and went ahead to pile her with praises, referring to Michelle as his love and partner as he detailed how the mother of his kids made life so easy and livable. We already knew Joe Biden was bringing two dogs to the White House but now he'll also have dog face as part of his welcoming committee. Dream skateboarder Nathan Apodaca will be part of Biden's virtual inauguration parade next week. So they say they reached out to Nathan to ask him to join the project because they saw how his feel good video uplifted the world this past fall during social unrest and pandemic anxiety. Thanks to Ricardo Momo, we now know that Mze Juma is not Diamond Platinum's biological dad because they share the same father identified as the late Salem Nyange and now we know Diamond has other siblings after we came across a photo of his youngest sisters who happen to look like him. Through her Instagram account, the last identified as Chia Mo went on to unveil one of her photos with Diamond Platinum's captioned, Blood Brother. News anchor Grace Kuria on Sunday announced her exit from Standard Group on TV station. The news anchor made public her departure as she signed off on her last bulletin for the station during the 1pm news. She did not reveal where she will be headed to next but sources say that she will be joining China Global Television Network CGTN where she is set to take up a new role. Grace Korea joined KTN in 2019 after she was pushed from Media Max K24 TV. And with that, we come to the end of this edition of the Daily 10. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We're looking forward to your feedback. Make sure to catch me every Monday to Friday from 6.50pm to 7pm. From EPNK here at the Daily 10, it's goodbye.